Hey guys, welcome back to our campus tour of UNSW. We're here at the L3 light rail stop at Anzac Parade and we're just going to head that way onto the main walkway right now. Let's go! Once you get off the light rail and you've crossed the street, you'll find yourself here at UNSW main walkway. So here you'll find most of the important buildings around UNSW and it is one of the most iconic parts of campus. So let's go! So here we are at the UNSW ARC Sports Centre. UNSW offers students a range of competitive and recreational sport options. So if you want to stay healthy, get active, make some friends, yeah, come here and check it out. Over here is the law building. If you're not a law student, the most important thing here is actually the law library located on the ground floor. Despite its name, it's not actually just for law students to study in or cry in or whatever you do in libraries. It's actually open to anyone. So if you're not bothered to walk to main library all the way on the other end of campus, this is a pretty good option. Other than that, in the main law building, there's also some really good study spaces on the third floor. So maybe check them out if the law library is full around finals time. Here we are at the Globe Lawn. It's called the Globe Lawn because there's a globe in it. So um, next to the Globe Lawn is the Electrical Engineering Building and it's a fairly new building. So there are a lot of great study spaces here. Opposite the Electrical Engineering Building is Ainsworth, the School of Mechanical Engineering. Despite that, a lot of you computer science students will have your labs in there. So you better get to know it, so you have a good look. Um, other than that, we wouldn't actually recommend studying there just because it can usually get pretty noisy and crowded. Behind Ainsworth is the building called K17 and the John Lyons Garden. That's where CSE SOC has their weekly barbecues. So if you're free on Wednesday lunch, you should have a pop by and check it out. Melted cheese, all three sauces. All right, so now let's, ho <laughs> so now let's head over this way to the quad. Here we are at the Quadrangle. So this place is pretty much in the smack bang middle of lower and upper campus. And it's a really nice place to study outside, get some fresh air, you know, get a bite to eat and relax with your friends after class. All right, now let's head over this way to the other side of lower campus. Let's go. Here's a tip. If you're lost on campus, there's an app for that. You can download the app called Lost on Campus for UNSW and you can simply just input the building you're looking for or the room you're looking for and it will not only tell you where on campus it is but it will also tell you approximately how to get there. Other than that, you can also try using Google Maps and just entering the name of the building there and that should also be of use to you. This over here is a UNSW Business School building. As the name suggests, it's the building where most business students will have their classes, but anyone can really come here and yeah, it's another great place to study. So over here is the alumni lawn. Here you'll find most of the O-Week stores and so you can come here and check out all the different societies and opportunities that UNSW offers. Over here is the MCIC, one of the uni's many maker spaces. If you're looking for a place to do a hands-on project, or if you want to come down here and use some of the tools, like the 3D printer or the laser cutters, you can just come down here anytime and it's always open. Just make sure to get your safety induction badge first before you pop in. <laughs> Over in that direction is the lower campus food court. And there are some really great places to eat there. And there's also an IGA if you ever need to get a drink or anything. Here we are at the Roundhouse. Now over here, many societies run a lot of events and you can also come here to have lunch with friends and even grab a drink or two. We're gonna head back to the quad now, so we'll see you there. One, two, three. 
We're back at Quad, but this time we're gonna go up that way, up the Bassa stairs, made famous by that one Reddit meme. This is the biggest trek in the entire campus, so wish us luck. A few moments later. We finally made it to the top of Bassa stairs, and now we've officially made it to upper campus. Past all the summer holiday construction, we're now here at the main library. It's obviously one of the biggest study spaces in the uni and it goes up quite a lot of floors. You can book a seat here to study or even like reserve a room if you're really um, trying to get somewhere free. There's also specific floors that are set aside especially for postgrad students and for silent study. There's a lot of other facilities available so make sure you check out their website to see what you can do at the library. Yeah, and attached to the main library is the Nucleus Student Hub. So here you will come to get your student IDs taken and really if you have any questions, for example regarding changing degrees, uh, what courses you have to take, um, and anything related to the student life at UNSW, you can come here and ask away. This here is the way to Upper Food Court. There's a lot of variety, so a lot of people tend to like it for that. But instead, we're going to actually head this way towards the light rail stop. So now we've made it all the way up upper campus and we are now here at the L2 light rail stop. <laughs> I don't know, were you meant to say the rest? <laughs> Was I meant to say L2? What else were I meant so. to say? So that's it for our UNSW campus tour. In, we couldn't cover everything and every single building on campus, so... Make sure you explore in your own time. If you like this content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and check out the rest of our first year guide playlist on YouTube. Thanks for See watching! You soon. I like looked at you and I was like this. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm talking about. Can we leave that in? Surely. Yeah? Okay. <laughs>